more water in your brain means you will slosh. Not expansion of the brain, it's swelling up. Psychological imbalances will come. In our modern society, it is very easy to overlook the simple act of drinking water, a vital element that sustains each aspect of our being. So every creature in this world is aware of the sources of water, when to drink it and how much one should consume it. Why then we are the only individuals who are so puzzled about drinking water? The way we consume water plays a very pivotal role in our overall well-being. Many of us unintentionally fall into patterns and habits that can disrupt our body's delicate balance and impede with optimal hydration. However, by understanding the wisdom of Ayurveda and embracing conscious hydration processes and practices, we can unlock the full potential of water that supports our body's natural healing and rejuvenation process. So, by the end of this video, we will get to know what are the five common mistakes we do while drinking water. And yeah, don't forget to watch the video till the end because at the end, you will also get a bonus tip that how one can naturally purify the water. So, are you ready to dive into the world of mindful hydration and embrace the rejuvenation potential it holds? So, let us dive in. So, let me first ask you, which way do you consume water? First is drinking water with meals. Second, drinking ice cold or hot water. Third is gulping water very quickly. And last is squishing water sip by sip and then swallow the water. You have 10 seconds, just pause the video and go down in the comment section and comment down below. Now when you have answered the question, now tell me again which is the correct and the best way to drink water. You have 10 seconds again, pause the video and just go down in the comment box and comment it to me. Now when you have written your answers, let me tell you the answer now. The correct answer is fourth, that is squish water sip by sip and then swallow. Let me tell you why. The number one mistake we do while drinking water is gulping water in one go. According to naturopathy and Ayurveda both, one should eat water, not drink it. Yes, when we squish water for 5 seconds in our mouth, it generates saliva in the mouth. And we all know saliva is very beneficial to digest the food. Same way, saliva also digests the liquid. As per Sadhguru, you must consume food that is high in water content in addition to consuming liquid water. So let us first listen to Sadhguru. Vegetables and other things are over 70% water. When you consume food, at least it must be level with the percentage of water content in your own body. So any food that you eat should be at least 70% uh, water content. So this is why vegetables, fruits must be part of your diet so that it is there. Now let us see the second mi mistake that we do while drinking water. That is drinking water while eating meals or just after the meals. So gulping water just after the meals or while taking meals dilutes our digestive juice and compromises with the body's ability to effectively break down the food. As a result of which, the food that we ate starts to decay inside our stomach and intestine and thus we have problems like gas, bloating, acidity, etc. So remember always to drink water one hour before taking the meal or one hour after taking the meal. If you feel too much spicy while eating, you can take one or two small squishing sips or the best is use buttermilk instead of water. Let us address the third mistake, that is drinking ice cold or hot water. And what should be the temperature by the way of drinking water? Many people nowadays drink water with three-fourths of the tumbler full with ice or drink water directly from the fridge. Or some of the health freaks even drink hot water always no matter what the weather is and as they think that it will help them reduce their weight. According to ancient sciences, one must always drink water at room temperature, neither too hot or too cold. While during winters, you can take lukewarm water. Drinking too much hot or cold water act as mini shock for our body. So, our body has to perform 2x hard work 
to bring the water back to the normal body temperature. Now let us listen to Sadhguru what he says. If you are a yogi, if you are on the path in of the inner transformation, you want to transform your system to another dimension of possibility, then you drink water only which is within four degrees variation upwardly and downward. If you are a student, that is, you want to absorb knowledge, you are not looking for transformation, you are only interested in absorbing knowledge, then you must drink within eight degrees variation. If you are a householder who is not interested in any transformation or learning, you can drink up to twelve degrees variation from both sides. Beyond that is not considered conducive for anybody. Now let's come to the fourth mistake that we do while drinking water. That is storing water in plastic bottles. So storing water in plastic bottles infuse them with the chemicals that the plastic have. As well as these bottles alters the temperature of the water according to the surrounding. In place of plastic bottles, you can use earthen pots, copper vessels or even steel and glass bottles can work but not plastic. Drinking water from earthen pots does not have only physical significance, also has a spiritual significance. We all know that 6% of our body is made up of earth. So drinking water from earthen pots memorizes our body of our mortality. As per Sadhguru, one of the best conducting metals for storing water is copper. Copper gives the water energy. The chemical makeup of the water won't change if you check it. The only thing that would alter is the water's molecular makeup. Now let us listen to Sadhguru what he says. For daily consumption, just a copper vessel, every day if you have something, if you light a lamp next to it, if necessary, just one flower, the very way the water behaves within you will change. And when before you consume just one, one moment of gratitude and reverence, because this is the material with which you're making your life, not with some unknown god, this is the material that makes your life every moment. Now let us address the fifth and the most common mistake that majority of us make. Now as per Sadhguru, people nowadays drink water even if they are not thirsty. I don't think it should be like this. Because how much water you consume depends on your lifestyle, whether you work inside or outdoors, in the field, under the sun or in the under the AC. So to know if your body is really hydrated or dehydrated, you don't have to really consume water each and every time. Instead, you can take a simple test, that is, just take a look at your urine. If your urine is light yellowed or white, your body is well hydrated. You don't need to consume water each and every time. Second, your urine is yellow, your body is dehydrated and your body requires water. Now, this may not be the only reason for the color of your urine. Now, let us just listen to Sadhguru what he says. Excessive consumption of water, especially if it's done in small sips, body absorbs when it absorbs the sodium levels which are very uh, delicately balanced will drop. The rest of the body also is affected but may not be noticeable, but in the brain, sodium levels dropping will lead to swelling of the brain. This does not mean your brain is growing. Swelling means it's a kind of sickness, okay? Not expansion of the brain, it's swelling up because of lack of sodium content. So because there's not enough sodium, more water goes into the brain trying to supply the required sodium to keep the balance. So more water in your brain means you will slosh. Psychological imbalances will come. And now it's time for the bonus. Have you heard of sun-charged water? Just store the water you have in your glass bottle or earthen pots under the sun, cover them nicely and then leave it under the sun for six to eight hours. Then drink this water entire day. Sun-charged water has sunlight stored in it, so it acts as a medicine for the body. Now, dear friends, water is not merely a substance to quench our thirst. It is a sacred elixir that sustains life all by itself. 
so by adopting the wisdom of ayurveda and embracing the mindful hydration practices we can harmonize our bodies support optimal digestion and nurture overall well being so let us cultivate a conscious relationship with water honoring its essence and our own till then stay safe healthy and namaskaram and just remember these five points